Oh, the red light came up. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're online now. Pushing a few buttons and get pushing the wrong buttons. So yeah. Oh, the phone's here. just pinged, so you're, we're live now. So yeah. Well, should I, if I mute us all? Yeah. And uh, then we'll formally begin. So welcome. We've already been chatting here on Zoom. But welcome here on Zoom yet again, and welcome to anyone looking on on live stream. Good morning to you. I hope this finds you well. And anyone a little bit later looking on, on the YouTube channel as well. Good morning to you. So this is our service of Holy Communion, our midweek um, service of communion. So let me just share the screen and then we'll keep a moment or two silence as we prepare to worship. However, we are able to gather this morning. We meet in the name of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God is one. So let us pray again together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us say sorry to God for those things we know that we have done. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we have our reading from the Bible and uh, Sally is going to read that to us this morning. Sally. Uh, the Bible reading this morning is from the uh, Gospel of Mark. Um, it's chapter one from verse 29. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand and helped her up. The fever left her and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages, so that I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So he travelled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, there is, as usual, a very short Bible reflection on the YouTube ch channel with regard to that passage. I have to say, I, I find that passage in our context at the moment of the pandemic actually really quite challenging. We so much just simply want Jesus to come and bring healing and, and wholeness. 
um, yet that passage also talks about the reason that Jesus came for him to preach and to tell, and he also speaks also about prayer. And he does say elsewhere in the Bible that we need to pray for healing and wholeness of people who are unwell. And I guess that still needs to be our response today, just to hold the world, one another in prayer. There's a few more thoughts around that on the YouTube channel accompanying that passage for today. So wherever we are gathering from, let us proclaim together what we do believe today. We believe, we believe in, one, in God, one God, the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all the, of earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son. He with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we're going to spend some time praying together. Marion, are, are you hoping to lead our prayers this morning? Just need to unmute yourself a second. Marion, are you able to unmute yourself a second? I haven't prepared any prayers. But That's I, okay. Sally has. Yeah, okay. yeah, don't worry. Don't, Sally has then. That's absolutely okay. fine. Do not worry. Thank you. Okay. Sally, lead us in some prayer. Okay. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you reach out to each of us in love and peace. You offer us your healing and power and you call us to share in telling this good news to all people. Blessed are you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, we live in a broken world. We ask for your guidance and your healing. We pray that your church, even in these difficult times, may be a witness to you, our savior and healer. We pray for all who are wavering in their faith and for those who feel weak in spirit. As we have received from you, may our love and our actions bring light and hope to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> we pray for all people across the world and for the leaders of the nations. May they be given the gifts of wisdom, courage, compassion and right judgment. May they look to you for inspiration and guidance. We pray also for all who seek to reach out to help those who are ill or in any kind of need. We give thanks for volunteers and for those whose work involves bringing relief to those in need. Please bless them in all their endeavours. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for our families and friends and all of our community. We give thanks to you for all who through good relationships have demonstrated your love. We hold before you all whom we love and all who we know to be in need at this time. 
and we take a moment of silence to hold before you those who are ill. <clears throat> May they know your healing and your peace of heart and mind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all who have been faithful to you, and we pray for those who now rejoice in your love and peace in its fullness. We pray for those who mourn, that they may know of your love, comfort, and peace of heart and mind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, may Jesus be our Lord in all our ways. May he shepherd us the length of all our days. And in our hearts, may he receive the praise. This is our prayer to you. Our prayer to you. Amen. Thank you, Sally. We need to share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. Let me um, do that by introducing, let me introduce that by saying a verse from the Bible. A saviour Christ is the prince of peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. We offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace, be, with peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you. And peace to anyone looking on on live stream who may be looking on a little bit later on the YouTube channel. Very much peace with you this morning. So we come to our time of sharing communion with one another. They need to share some liturgy on the screen. But we do know wherever we are that the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven, saying together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. So we join with fellow believers across the globe as we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So however you are able, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed in him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ. blood of Christ. Amen. So let us say together, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory, and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom. And the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. That draws our service of communion to a close this morning. The usual advert that if you want to join us on Sunday morning, please do so for our service of Holy Communion, again via Zoom, live stream and YouTube, um, 10.30 on Sunday morning. And we look forward to seeing as many folk as possible, however, in those ways. Then. We need to say farewell to those looking on. So we say bye-bye, farewell, keep well, keep safe. We look forward to joining with you on another day. Bye-bye.